So you want to get started on multi-streaming, but you don't know how. Whether it be TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, or vertically on YouTube. Let's dive in and show you how. So first we are downloading the OBS from zip file, OBS website. Opening that, extracting to a new folder named OBS Studio. You can use the installers if you wish, folks. I just simply love doing the whole drag and drop thing. It's the IT girl in me. So next off, we're going to head up to get all the plugins we need, starting off with the Atom Vertical plugin. Again, rinse and repeat for these plugins. The Vertical plugin, which allows us to stream from OBS straight to Instagram, YouTube vertical, and we use a vertical camera output from a. Now, the RTMP plugin we're downloading is for streaming to YouTube horizontally as well as Twitter. That then covers all six platforms that I've mentioned previously. The OBS auto starter is a little handy thing, a script that I like to use. I'll explain what it does later on. Master Labs. Well, that's our multi-chat software. I'll show you how it works later on. Now, we're just installing all the programs that need to be installed, which is Caffeinated Installer, as well as TikTok, the Live Creator Studio. Now, there is a little bit to Live Creator Studio, which I'll below. You have to sign up a TikTok creator does have some prerequisites as well. Check out the links below to see how to do that. While that installs, TikTok Live Studio is how we're going to stream it. Yes, I know it's not all through OBS. Now we're installing the virtual camera. Please go to that folder below. Make sure you run the batch file with administrative and the virtual camera is installed. This is what we need to stream it. Now we grab a shortcut because everyone loves using this allows us to use OBS Portable. What that means is we can take the entire folder wherever we wish. We don't have to keep it installed anywhere. Have it on multiple computers. This is the way to do it. Now we boot it up, start the setup process. Next off, we're going to go open the settings and configure OBS. First off, we're going to start the stream tab. We don't need general one. This is where you connect your Twitch account. Then we're going to put the app mode to advanced, contract to FFmpeg encoder, set the video encoder to your graphics card, and set the encoder settings to your preferences. Over the recording tab, we're going to tick two because I don't want audio blasted into my recording nor into my stream, and I untick replay buffer. You don't need it. I disable all them so there's no desktop audio coming through. Set my scaled resolution to 1080p, 60 FPS, be standard. Make sure my process priority for OBS is high. I want it above everything else. That's the settings. Now the vertical settings. Basically, straight into the stream tab. This is where you grab it from YouTube Studio. We're going to start off with YouTube as a vertical platform. Head over to studio.youtube.com. Once you log in, you have to create, go live, and go to manage over on left and schedule screen. I'm going to reuse some settings from last time. I'm going to quickly run you through them. Title, pretty obvious. Description, similar sort of things you already do on YouTube if you're already posting. Make sure you put your game title in here for me. It's World of Warcraft for this one. Make sure you tick unaltered content. It doesn't apply to us. Untick those two. You don't really need them. Put some tags in here. Whatever you like to use. I'm going to put WoW, World of Warcraft, some generic things for the tutorial. Most so other stuff's all good. This screen, have a check through, make sure it's okay. I always list it as unlisted, so then, and schedule the time ahead. This is only needed for the vertical side. The horizontal side is done from restream.io. Make sure you never share the stream key that's there. Just copy it. You won't see it here on the tutorial, but don't. Click the I button if you are streaming at that point. 
So we'll copy the details straight over in OBS, grab. Because they never change. That's why I say don't ever share your string key. The YouTube ones never change. Set, set the encoding. I set it the same as what we did before when we set up original OBS. Seems fine for me. Video rate to 4000. Generally, you won't see it over 4000. Make sure you have your audio track set to two so you don't get any music on YouTube. Doesn't like it, trust me. So we'll, re we'll configure the next one for Instagram. Obviously, you will need to log in. I'm not showing you my login details. Don't be silly. Once you're logged in, same sort of process YouTube. Create, live video, put your title in. You're going to put WoW stream. Right, public, you want everyone to be able to see it. So you can see a stream key here for this one. Instagram, as it says, it does change every five hours. Most times it changes for me when I actually go to that Instagram page. So we're all pretty sweet. Vertical's now set up. That's how you stream to two different platforms on Vertical. So we're loading up the RTMP program. This is for streaming horizontally to Twitter and YouTube. It copies exactly what you have from OBS. As you can see, it's shared with OBS. I'm just changing the plugin. Go to restream.io. Once you log in, you will have to add your channels in there, whether it be TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, added a YouTube and Twitter, as that's how I'd like it horizontally to go. Same thing here. Don't copy your stream key. These ones don't change unless you manually reset them. Same with YouTube. Never share your stream key. I just called it Restream, YouTube and Twitter because you can do two free accounts through Restream. You do not have to pay for it. We connect our Twitch account. It's done. I just enable those little chat add-ons and bam, we've got our first docs. So I put my stream information to the side so I can manually update that straight from OBS. Get rid of the chat because we're going to be using Castle Labs for that. I don't need it. And that's pretty much first set up. Now, let's do a little bit of work to get um, some docs in here so you can change some things. Like Restream, for example. You want to be able to change those titles directly from OBS. You don't want to have to have a million tabs open. So how to do that is you just tick on the three dots. As you can see, it creates event in YouTube for us. Unfortunately, Vertical doesn't have this ability. So I just throw this to the side as well so I can modify everything in OBS. And now I grab my next one, which is my YouTube studio. So I just grab studio.youtube.com. Same thing again, go create, go live. As you can see, there's some in there. I just copy the current address and paste in there. You'll have to do this for yours because that link is to mine. Don't worry, you have to log in as me to be able to see mine. And make sure you add on the end, console OBS as displayed on the screen. This gives us a nice format for OBS for YouTube Studio. Next, I'm adding some Twitch docs, including my rewards queue and quick actions. This allows me to mark off my rewards directly from OBS as well, so I can do everything inside OBS. I don't have to have another window. So you just position them as need be. This can be, these links can be found from your Twitch dashboard, your stream manager. So you just simply go to the Twitch site, click the three dots, pop out quick actions, copy the address, paste it as a custom doc. It's really that simple. Then we're done. Next off, we're going to set up Cast Labs so we can see all the chat. Now that we have Cast Labs open, I decide to click the Twitch button, get that set up, log in, wait for it to load. Now we go down to settings, cross to accounts, and log in each account that we wish. TikTok, YouTube. Unfortunately, Instagram does not have any permissions to be able to push chat into another program. So if you do want to monitor Instagram chat, you will need to do that directly from the website. As you can see, I went over to docs, stream chat, grabs the link from there and put that as a new custom doc. Let's set up TikTok, shall we? Uh, launch up TikTok Live Studio. Now you will need to have had to do your creator application prior to this point. Otherwise it will not let you log into TikTok Live Studio. Again, more details down below. So I skipped the setup of this process and I'm in. I'm just 
ignore creator camp it's fine i've done most of that on my main computer anyways so we need to add the obs virtual camera in it doesn't quite look right in a landscape mode so i'm going to go up here and change it to portrait mode and re-add the source in as obs virtual camera right click on it stretch to screen bang it's done so to go live you do need to hit the vertical camera here i'm just going to throw something in the obs scene so you can see it come across to tiktok just something i was googling earlier in obs and there it is now all you need to do is add the alerts in tiktok for followers you know and the diamonds and that's pretty much done configure it how you see fit hit go live to go live very simple now you have all three buttons there in the chat as well so you can see exactly how to go live so we have a few programs we need to auto start let's use the auto starter script as you can see open it up from the plus sign now we've got to go find the programs i have custom labs spotify tiktok live studio of course to launch all at the same time as launching obs so make sure we add all these into the auto scripter because this will just allow it so much easier when you boot obs it boots those programs when you close obs it closes them when uh, much as you tick that auto close just to show you how it works here we go launching spotify cast labs is on screen loading so it's tiktok live studio when you close obs it closes them when you open it it opens them it's just very handy one of those extra things to have and thank you so much to these coffee subscribers for helping me each and every month be able to make these videos still don't forget to like subscribe and comment let me know what your thoughts are see you next time folks